It has been a year since the Gold Standard opened their office in Shanghai. While some team members have gone their separate ways since the expansion, they have gathered today to reflect on their experiences for an interview with Forbes magazine. This is Katie with Forbes magazine sitting here with Tina, the current CEO of the Gold Standard. Tina, it has been a year since the new office has opened. What has been your greatest takeaway from this experience? Well, Katie, I'd have to say that would be my promotion from executive assistant to CEO. I never saw that coming. However, I feel that my communication skills and leadership qualities have contributed to a seamless transition. Yes, you have come a long way since you first started with the company. Tell me, what was it like working with Ari Gold? Ari had a certain reputation in the industry, but he really propelled my career. His communication skills were lacking, but he knew how to build on his employees' strengths. He was able to see potential in them and cultivate it into a career. Look at Eric, for example. He was working at a pizza place, and now he is one of the leading talent managers in the industry. That's right. Let's get Eric in here. I'd love to hear how his career has evolved since relocating to Shanghai. Now you know I'm crazy busy these days, but I always have a few minutes to talk about my career. I have to say, moving to Shanghai has been one of the greatest decisions I've ever made. Not only is my main man Vince better than ever, but I'm signing new talent left and right. That's what I hear. I have to ask, what is better about working in the Shanghai office compared to LA? For me, the decentralized organization has made it a lot easier to grow in my career. In LA, under Ari's control, everything was completely centralized. Every decision had to be passed through Ari, although he would claim that to be untrue, and it made getting things done pretty difficult. I can see how that would give you a lot more freedom to take on more responsibility. How has it been without Bill and Luna on board guiding you through the globalization? Can we get them in here? As a consultant, I wasn't used to the constant communication. I primarily work on my own. However, the company has really come together since Tina has taken over, and Tina taught me how to effectively communicate with everyone. By the way, where is Vince? I know he has been pretty busy since his move to Shanghai. Has he been a little less demanding in the office since his high demand everywhere else? Who's this? Vince, this is Katie from Forbes. He's doing a reflection piece on how the gold standard has been doing since the grand opening a year ago. You got an email about it, I'm sure. Bill Luna, it's good to see you. I don't think I've seen you since you took off after the grand opening party. I know you're busy, Vince, but can I ask what your favorite thing is about the new office? You mean besides the fact I'm super famous here? Probably the level of motivation here. I think everyone feels more capable and eager to take on、um, more responsibility. I'm glad to hear you say that, Vince. I've tried hard to give everyone free range and trust their judgment. I know Ari didn't treat everyone this way, but he gave me a lot of decision-making power, and that built a lot of confidence within myself. That was something I learned from him and tried to pass on to everyone here. Well, well, well. What the f- is this? Check out the family reunion. I bet you guys are surprised to see me, Tina. Thank you for the kind words. I always knew you were gonna take over the company. I saw it in you the first day I met you. Everyone thinks I was such an asshole to you, but it sounds like you knew I had your back. Ari, my man, glad to have you back. How did you know we would all be here today? <laughs> Vince, not much has changed with you, buddy. I got the group email, the one you were on too. I may have been in Italy, but I've been keeping tabs on the business since I left. I may not be the CEO, but I still own the place. Welcome back, Ari. I'm glad you can make it in today. But something told me you wouldn't miss an opportunity for a little good press back home. Now, let me ask the guy who started it all one question: Ari, if you could change one thing about the way you ran the company when you were in charge, what would it be? Wow, straight to the point, huh? Okay, okay. I guess there is one thing I would change if I could. I would reevaluate the level of work centrality in my life. The degree of importance this company had on me may have made me successful, but it took a toll on my personal life. I had to get out before my marriage and relationship with my kids crumbled. That's why I moved to Italy, and since then, life has been great. I own a vineyard, a f- vineyard. Great answer, Ari. Who knew you were softy way deep down? What the? F- This reminds me. I gotta go. I've got the jet waiting on me, and I have a meeting in France this evening to buy some ass sorry vineyard. He thinks he could take Ari gold on. I'll burn that mother vineyard down. He's lucky I'm willing to even buy it out from under him. Rest easy, folks. Ori gold has not changed one bit. 
Well, this wraps up the interview with the Gold Standard team. Thanks for meeting with me, everyone. If the rumors are true, mm -hmm. I will be seeing you guys at the Sydney office grand opening in a few months. Well, there you have it. The Gold Standard team is better than ever as the company continues to expand. Each member of the group has evolved since we first met them back in LA. Even Ari has shown improvements to his empathetic side. Keep an eye on the team as they embark on their next adventure in Australia. Something tells me Ari won't be able to resist the money to be made on the Gold Coast. <laughs>